And we're just going to get into some quick news before we go. We got CISA and FBI urge companies to patch cross-site scripting. GitHub notification emails are hijacked to send malware. And the FTC report on large social networks and streaming. Okay, first off, the CISA and FBI urge companies to patch cross-site scripting. Cross-site scripting, if you don't know, it comes in many forms, but very generally a script is injected into the web page by a user, usually to steal or manipulate data. And they cite cross-site scripting attacks as dangerous and a common vulnerability. MITRE has consistently placed cross-site scripting as number two among the top 25 most dangerous software weaknesses. And basically, they're urging developers to validate and sanitize inputs when developing web applications. And they're trying to raise awareness about cross-site scripting, specifically because it's easy to prevent, it's widespread, and it's also pretty dangerous. Next up, we got GitHub notification emails hijacked to send malware. Basically, this attack method involves creating and deleting an issue on a public repository, which tricks the recipient into clicking malicious links. The phishing email impersonates GitHub security, appearing legitimate while passing common phishing checks. Attackers use a CAPTCHA-like website that allows users to run malicious PowerShell commands, and it, uh, the malware is downloaded via downloaded via the attack, avoids Windows security warnings by bypassing the mark of the web, and the attack installs malware identified as Lemma Stealer, which attempts to steal data from the victim from the victim system. And GitHub could mitigate these attacks by reducing attacker-controlled content and notification emails and approving email content. And lastly, we have the FTC report on large social networks and streaming platforms. Basically, it's nothing too surprising, but it's very important that the FTC is recognizing this as an FTC report reveals the major social media and streaming platforms are collecting and monetizing vast amounts of user data from children and teens while failing to protect privacy. This is companies like Amazon, Twitch, Meta, YouTube, TikTok, Netflix. And they all have been shown to have inadequate data retention and deletion practices, and they often ignore requests to delete personal information. And this also has a COPPA implication as children and teens were treated the same as adults with companies just avoiding accountability. And the FTC recommends federal privacy legislation, stricter data policies, and stronger protection for children and teens online. And although this doesn't reveal anything especially surprising to us, it's being recognized by the national government, the FTC, and this could signify some future policy change. And these are my sources. And that is all for this week.